Hello friends, finally I have installed GitHub Copilot on my laptop. I have subscribed to their monthly subscription. I have heard a lot about uh, GitHub Copilot. So I'm going to try first hand. So I'm creating a, my first Hello World application. So basically in this application, I'm going to have a calculator class and I'm going to test different aspects of GitHub Copilot. So it has created my console application calculator which has hello world command. So you go to extension and you look for GitHub Copilot and you install it. I, I have already installed the Copilot. Let me go ahead and install the chat. Maybe I will give the demo of Copilot chat in an, another video. In this video, we will focus on GitHub Copilot. So let I'm restarting my project. Go GitHub Copilot and chat both are installed. So as we can see right now, there's only hello world console write statement in my C sharp console application. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another project, add another project to this solution. So you click add new project and then you search for uh, class library. So C sharp class library we, we are going to add. And in this C sharp library, first we are going to name is calculator library. We'll keep it simple. And so once we named it, we click next, we select the .NET 7.0 core framework version. Let me go ahead and rename this class. Uh, I will call it calculator. So how the GitHub Copilot works is you add comments and it adds the code for you. This is how you tell Copilot to do something for you. It gives you suggestions. So you have to uh, enter the comment. Like in the chat GPT, you enter the prompt engineering. Here I will say it's the comment engineering. How, how, so how good you are in commenting? is going to come very very handy now so i created a i gave a command constructor it automatically created a constructor for me so i'm telling me this copilot that i need methods for adding subtracting multiplying multiplying and dividing so since there are a lot of calculator applications it knows what are the methods popular methods most of the demos test driven development they use some kind of calculator class there must be a lot of calculator classes on the github so that is how co uh, that is how copilot works it has a lot of code base whatever is downloaded in the github so it knows the patterns so as i'm uh, as I am entering the tab, it's entering the code, it's giving suggestion. Let's go ahead and create a test library for our project. We are going to write tests for our calculator class. A lot of time, we don't have time, we don't have energy, we don't have inertia. So this is where I see GitHub playing a critical role, adding help us to write tests for our classes. So we are going to select MS test for, for our project. We are going to call it class calculator test project. Just keep the name same as our library. And uh, we need to add reference to our class library, calculator library, so that it can access the calculator ob object or class and call all its methods. So there's already template. Uh, I'll be rename as it calculator test method. And I'm going to tell this class that I need methods for, I need methods for all. I'm going to tell this copilot that I need tests for all the methods in the calculator class. So I was hoping it will type all the methods for me. It didn't type it. So let's do it hard way. Create comment for each method. So uh, I'll uh, go back and uh, I'm trying to type 
add method hoping co copilot will come to my assistance so, but the copilot has not uh, picked up and uh, very soon I, I i think i'm going to add a comment per method so here here i'm trying different things a copilot come help me i don't want to write this code write this method for me so uh, copilot i see like uh, it is filling where chat gpt is missing chat gpt is more giving you structure overall overall the lay and a lot of time copilot doesn't give you uh, chat gpt doesn't give you the details so copilot fits here to give you details so now i'm writing a comment for each method i was hoping that it will give me i'll write one comment it will write all the code so we have to do method by method hitting tab i'm able to it's giving me suggestions i'm hitting tab whole code is there so uh, two more methods to go uh, add is done subtract is done next is multiply and finally the divide so hitting tab and finally we will be writing method for divide so as we can see like a uh, it's a doing great job when it's coming to write the test. It it knows the contest. It know what are the classes, what is the class, what is, what are the different parameters, what are the diff different methods, what are the parameters, what are the values returns, and it doing all the work for us. So it's a great great for writing automated test. At at this point, I can see. So I I have finished add, subtract, multiply now it's dividing so here i go i all my four methods are there and uh, let me go ahead and run the run our test uh, there's a one extra method i'm going to remove that and it's a very good practice to always add constructor i'm going going ahead and going to add a constructor in this test class because in real time we may be parsing bypassing some infrastructure related classes in the constructor so let me go ahead and run my test so here they are running all tests passed so amazing uh, so let me go ahead and write a test in our console application this is how we test typically using console so I'm adding a command, create an instance of calculator class and call the add method and uh, giving more information. So check copilot is giving me code. I'm just hitting the tab and it's writing all the code. Even if, now it will start giving me suggestions for the comments also. It knows after add, I want to test my subtract method i want to test my multiply method so and finally i want to test my uh divide method so uh, everything is writing console code for me console write statements for me let me go go back and compile it run it so it's running on the my second screen i'll pull it and show you guys so here is the output for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So I'm very impressed so far with the 